Hey guys, so this is me again, your fearless leader, uh, with vlog number 11. As you can tell, we're in color format this time. Uh, this is a special occasion for the color format because the content of this vlog depends upon you being able to see the colors. Um, but as the title tells you, it's the portrait of the artist as a young man. Uh, me being the artist and a young man being seven, eight years old, when I was seven or eight years old, I went to, I was a troubled youth and I had to go to various psychologists and therapists and analysts and counselors and so on because I was, as they tried to understand me and, you know, get a feeling for who I am as a person. But I didn't want to talk, I didn't want to discuss, I didn't want to get into a conversation with these people. I wanted to draw or do anything to avoid them. And I drew, because that's all they had available pretty much. It was toys or drawing, and I got bored with their toys pretty quick. So I would draw, even though I'm not very good at drawing, I have no calligraphic skills whatsoever. My handwriting, if you've ever seen my handwriting, it's atrocious. It is, it is plain terrible. But uh, yeah, so let me let me show you. The Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. This is uh, some of the stuff that I've done. Experimenting with watercolors, uh, rather unsuccessfully, if I might, if I might say. Uh, pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, pretty bad that one. Uh, here's me in my impressionistic phase. Yes, I know. Quite, quite fascinating. I have a, I have a thing for odd metric shapes. Oh, and um, let's see, what else have I got here? Yes. Oh, and look, look, look at my, uh, my stick figures. Yes, if you can get a better look there, yeah, see? And then the fireworks going off there, you know? And the sun, of course, has no color, but the wire for fireworks do. It's, it's very interesting. And then I had, then I went through a, a short phase where I was very into mazes. Yes, I loved mazes. I drew, I think I have three of these. Let me, let me show you this other one. Here we go, here we go, look at this. And I, I, it's like a Dungeons and Dragons kind of map that I've got going on here. Look at these things, they're just, uh... They're, they're quite intense. I mean, they've got little signs and signatures for everything. It's, wow. Here's, here's one that we framed. We framed the maze. Look at this thing. This thing is literally crazy intense. And the thing was with my mazes, I was the only one that knew how to get through. I was like the dungeon master. I knew all the little tricks and stuff. And so when people would have to go through the maze, I would basically tell you, hey, you can't do that because only I can do that because I'm the master of the maze. Yeah, just funny stuff there. Let's see what else I've got. Um... Yeah, I drew lots of random, crazy stuff. There's there's this. I don't even know why. I don't even know what this is. Like, why did I draw that? I have no idea. I was definitely influenced by Dada Artec art. You know, post-structuralism. Very fancy, modern, contemporary art that doesn't really do a whole lot for me now. Yes. Uh, what else? Here we go. Got Oh! Oh, me playing Yahtzee! Look at that handwriting! Oh, it's amazing. Me playing Yahtzee. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I love the colors and the people that I have hanging out with me to play Yahtzee. It's, it's, uh, it's quite spectacular. So yeah, that's that's today's uh, vlog. Just showing you a picture of me as the portrait of the artist as the young man being very silly and, and with horrible, horrible art. And in fact, like, my, my art is actually better then than it is now. Like, I want to show you now, compared to that, stuff that I've drawn recently. Here's this, for instance, or this, as another as another example, or this I drew on a note card. This is Shylock, the stereotypical Jewish person from the 18th century. And what else? What else? Uh, let's see what else I've got here for you. I know I've got something else. Oh, there, there, there's a lizard eating a TV. Now, this is stuff that I drew, like, in junior college. Like, I would just spend my time in class, cross legs, you know, just da -da -da -da, listen to the teacher, professor, da -da -da -da, I'm bored, and drawing. And that's what I would draw. Very, very authentic, very, very interesting. So, yeah, that's, um... Oh, and then there's one more thing, actually. This is what I love to do. This is what I love to draw. This is what I love to draw. This. These. Something my mom used to draw all the time. Just these co-eccentric shapes, these lines. It looks pretty trippy, doesn't it? And it takes forever to do them. Like, it really does take forever to do. And they're so fun. They're a great way to pass the time. I do them all over the place in my notebooks, on everything. It's, uh, it's really a lot of fun. And so, yeah, that's, uh, that's a side of me that you get to see. My, 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 uh, my visually artistic side, which is not so artistic as it is bored and, and, and crap. But, you know, there you go. There you go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys got to laugh at my, uh, my silly art. And yeah, maybe I will take a drawing class one of these days and then
draw better stuff for you to share. Uh, yeah, all right, so have a good day, and I will check back, check back next week for a new vlog, which will be covering a controversial topic. All right, cheers, guys.